apply that kind of thinking here, let's rewrite this and say, um, let's rewrite this as 1 over x squared times secant of 1 over x squared dx. Right? Let's try to do the same thing. That makes sense, right? It worked over there, so we can try the same thing. So let's have u equal to the secant of 1 over x. And therefore, if I do du over dx, that's going to be secant of 1 over x times tangent of 1 over x times the derivative of that, which is going to be a negative um, x to the negative second power. Now, that's assuming that's going to be with our u. Is that what we have over here? Do we? Is that what we are we are we looking good here? Is that what our next? Do we have a do we have a secant and a tangent extra? No. If we did, we'd be good. But we don't. So we don't want to use u as secant of one over x. We don't want to think of this as u squared, where u is secant of one over x. Does that kind of make sense? That doesn't. That's not good. So then what do, why don't we try, let's actually not write it that way, because that didn't work. And that's fine, guys. As I mentioned, practice, practice, practice. The more and more we practice of these, which don't worry, we're going to do, um, the more familiar it be like, well, if I, have secant, if I do the integral of secant squared, oh, I know that's one of those major trig fun, um, functions that I can integrate, right? Secant squared is the integrate, integral of secant squared is tangent plus c. Um, so anyways, let's make u then equal to 1 over x. So if I make that 1 over x, du over dx equals negative 1 over x squared. Right? Or x to the negative second, whatever. So we're looking pretty good here. du equals negative 1 over x squared dx. So guys, the only thing I don't have is that little negative. right? I basically have dx and I have 1 over x. I just don't have the negative. So I could divide by negative 1, negative 1. I could say negative du is equal to 1 over x squared dx. Right? So I could throw that negative on the outside. And I could say this is secant squared of u, du. And would everybody agree that now I have written an equivalent integral but just using u as my inside function. Yes? So now we can integrate this, though. That's not that bad. Then just throw that back in. Throw u back in. That's it. Done-ness.